Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I'm gonna to show you one of the tools that I have, which is a Precision Instruments torque wrench, and it's a dial type one. And so I'll explain how it's used for uh, measuring preload and how I used it when installing gears. So I just wanted to show you what it is and how it works. So this is what it looks like, and uh, this is a 3 8 inch drive. It has a little plaque on the side telling you when it was made. You can see this was back in 2012. Uh, and so I'll put my gear install videos in the playlist too. Uh, I'll put that in the dis video description if you want to see that. But this is what it looks like. And so this is for fine measurements. Um, it's in inch pounds. And again, 3 8 inch drive. So it accepts a normal socket on there. And this comes calibrated from the factory. However, they do allow you to move and adjust this knob up here by twisting it. And that does not affect uh, its calibration is what it says in the owner's manual. So you can set it to exactly zero. So you have a movable indicator needle, that's this part right here, and as you notice, it bows down so that when you're applying torque and the needle's moving, it will catch that indicator needle. And so you can either have it set up on the left-hand side so that as you're applying torque, it pushes that indicator needle, and then when you let off, you know how much pressure has been applied. Or if you spin it uh, all the way around the opposite direction, you can kind of set how hard you want to the torque to be set at and then once you're applying pressure it will make its way to the needle and push it farther if you exceed that so it's just two different ways of setting it up and uh, so i'll show you an example in the video of how we how we did it when uh, checking preload and so i'll give you an example in each way of how we're doing it so for this example if we're turning it and it's going to move the needle to the left it will actually push our indicator with it as you can see there. So now that when we let off, you can see that the indicator stayed and let us know the maximum amount of torque that we applied. Now, the other way of doing this is spinning this needle all the way counterclockwise, and um, we're gonna set it to the desired torque that we want. So we will now put this at about 20 inch pounds here as an example. And now as we twist it, you can see the needle goes to it. And if we exceed it, it will still push that uh, indicator over, letting us know if we've uh, pushed it farther. But uh, sometimes it's easier. That's the way we set it up for measuring preload in the example I'll show you here uh, in order to know if we were coming up to our level without uh, passing it. So this is the uh, gear install for my Mach 1. I'll put the video to that in the video description. But as you can see, we wanted it to be about 25 inch pounds or somewhere around there. And so we had set that needle uh, closer to like the 30 mark or 25 to 30 so that we would know what we're looking for and so at this point only the pinion has been installed and torqued down we've crushed the crush sleeve but as we're turning this front flange with uh, the bolt the only thing spinning is the bearing with the pinion in it so as you can see we have that 20, 25 inch pounds of rotational drag. And so that's the preload on the bearing. That's how tight the bearing has been installed. If the bearing is too tight, you can burn it up. If it's too loose, um, then you can damage uh, the teeth and everything and you, you'd feel it rocking around too much. So as you spin it, you can tell it has just a little bit of firmness to it, which is the preload, right? So as you spin that, uh, that flange around, with only the pinion installed, it should have about 20 to 25 inch pounds of rotational drag. So that's how this tool was used, is just measuring how much force it's taking to spin uh, whatever you have it hooked up to, which in this case was the uh, pinion itself. Now keep in mind, as we add attachments or if you increase the lever arm, it will change the accuracy of this. So if you zoom in here, you can see it's telling you that right here is where you should be pushing from for the effective length. And so that effective length, that's what you saw in the video. I was, I was pushing on the indicator right between these two hash marks. Uh, if you're pushing closer to the base or farther away, uh, it will change the torque rating. So that's how this tool is uh, intended to be set up and used for measuring the, uh, the pinion preload. So uh, please check the video description where I'll put the full videos to installing the gears and you'll understand more uh, how this was all working and at what point we were measuring preload. You cannot measure preload with all of the gears and the axle shafts installed. This is uh, only able to be done when you're only 
uh, measuring what the pinion itself, what load is on that bearing. So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys.